morning everybody um just a reminder i say that most people probably know this we have got the service in front of us but obviously even though you're on mute and at home uh, please do join in where it's in, in bold um as i say we can't actually hear you but it's nice that you can join in as a family so uh we'll start off now with our with our thank you time let's hold our hands out and think of something we have seen which we are thankful for thank you lord thank you lord let's lift them higher and think of someone who has helped us thank you lord thank you lord let's lift them even higher and think of something we have been able to do thank you lord thank you lord Now this is the time that if you have got your drawings ready now, you could perhaps put on, on, the, on the center of your, your hand, um, just one word or two words of something you've been thankful for this week. So if you can think of something you've been thankful for, something you've been happy with. If not, it's something you can do later on, but I say it's just a, just a little thing to think about our prayers this week. Okay, now we move to our sorry time. And I forgot to say, if we could do the actions as well, that'd be lovely. I say most people know it, but if we haven't done it before, we could do the actions that it mentions on the screen. So we come to our sorry time. Let's put our hands on our head. I wonder if there's anything we thought this week that we wish we hadn't thought. We are sorry. We are sorry. Let's put our hands on our lips. I wonder if there's anything we said this week that we wish we hadn't said. We are sorry. We are sorry. Let's cross our hands on our chest. I wonder if there's anything we've done this week that we wish we hadn't done. We are sorry. We are sorry. Lord, forgive us when we get things wrong and help us to do what is right this coming week. Okay, now we've got our teardrop. Can we again write something in that teardrop that we wish we hadn't done this week? A word, just a couple of words. I'm sure we could all think of something we wish we hadn't done. Okay, we go across to Ken and Janet now for the peace. We'll just have our prayer of forgiveness before we do that. Lord, forgive us when we get things wrong and help us to do what is right this coming week. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, for copyright reasons, we've got a new peace song this week. And we usually, when we're in the pastoral centre, join hands in our family groups. So you can do that at home. And maybe if you've got a spare hand, hold it out to each of us on the screen. It's very simple. It is, peace is flowing like a river, flowing out through you and me. Spreading out into the desert, setting all the people free. It goes like this. Peace is flowing like a river, flowing out through you and me. Spreading out into the desert. Setting all the people free. Our story in a little bit is sort of set in the in near a desert, because the Holy Land where Jesus was was desert in lots of places. But let's sing it again. 
peace is flowing like a river flowing out through you and me spreading out into the desert setting all the people free and now we put our hands down And it's back over to Elaine. We now go to our prayer time. Let's pray for one another. We pray for all at St Lawrence's Church. So we'll put our hands together. Lord Jesus, help us. Lord Jesus, help us. We pray for all who are ill or sad. Lord Jesus, help them. Lord Jesus, help them. We pray for ourselves. Let's give ourselves a hug. Lord Jesus, help me. Lord Jesus, help me. Now we have a little picture of a person. Perhaps you want to just put an initial in the centre of the, your little person. As someone who you want to, you'd like to pray for this week. Okay, and we pass over to Canon Janet now, who's going to pray the, the, the uh, together prayer for Jesus taught us. Thank you, Elaine. Yes, we're going to do the Lord's Prayer now with actions. So we start with our hands in the prayer position, ready to go upwards to heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. prayer that Jesus taught us and we're going to come to our Bible story and it's about something that happened near the beginning of Jesus's ministry. So we're going to go into church first of all and we're in front of one of the windows in the chancel which is a bit at the top of the church furthest away from where we enter and we've got lots of windows like this in groups of one two, three. And we're going to get a little bit closer to this one. Sit, so we're a bit closer now. And we're going to be looking at the middle one. But just first of all, just notice the columns that separate the windows, because they you not many churches have got columns like that, and the pointy tops of them as well. And this is very ancient stonework. And it's one of the finest pieces of this, ex of this stonework in the country. So notice it when we're back in church. But let's get closer to the middle window now. And we're pointing at somebody. He's not wearing many clothes, is he? I wonder who he is. We might find out later. And we're pointing at another person now. He's wearing a few more clothes. They're a brownie color. I wonder what they could be made of. And he's got a belt around him. Oh, what's he doing? He looks as though he's pouring something on the first person. And up above, there looks like, oh, could it be a bird? It's a bit unusual, that. And look, they're standing in water. I love the fact on this picture, you can see the feet of the person in the water. Notice your feet when you're next in the bath and how they might look a little bit different in water. Anyway, let's get on with the story. 
and it's a story about Jesus being baptized. Now, a few weeks ago, we celebrated Christmas when Jesus was a baby. We're now about 30 years on from that. And we're going to meet a person we meet before Christmas as well. It's John the Baptist wearing his camel's hair, all that rough brown clothing. So they've rather swapped positions here. John the Baptist began his work for God in the desert. Every day people came to him and were baptized in the River Jordan for the forgiveness of their sins. One day, whilst John was baptizing, Jesus came to the river. He walked into the water towards John because he wanted to be baptized. John didn't want to baptize Jesus because Jesus had never sinned. That's not like us, is it? But Jesus said to him, let it happen because we must do everything God asks us to do. So John obeyed and baptized Jesus in the River Jordan in front of everyone. And as soon as Jesus came out of the water after being baptized, heaven opened and the Spirit of God, looking like a dove, came down and landed on Jesus. Then a voice from heaven said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And we say thank you to Sue Bentley and Free Bible Images for being able to use this story this morning. And now we're going to go back into church and look at our picture again. So who do you think was this person? The person with the bare chest standing in the water? It was Jesus, wasn't it? Jesus being baptised and the person baptising him was John the Baptist, pouring down the water on his head. I wonder if you've been baptised or christened. We'll be able to do christenings and baptisms in church again soon, I'm sure. And then here, that bird, well, that is a dove. And often in the Bible, a dove represents God's Holy Spirit coming down on Jesus at the beginning of his public ministry. And the water is the water of the River Jordan. We can baptise people in rivers today, but we tend not to. We tend to use what we call the font in church. And then right at the bottom of the picture, there are some words. Even for grown-ups, they're quite difficult to read. But they are the words that came down from heaven when Jesus was baptised. God the Father saying, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. This is my beloved son. And we're all beloved children of God. So Rowena is now going to do our craft activity and make something to remind us of this story. What have you got for us, Rowena? Well, what I've got is a blank sheet of paper or card. So... <clears throat> After the service, if you get a blank sheet of paper, and then what we do is we cut it in half virtually. So you'll have half a piece of paper, and then I want you to cut out a circle. So obviously it'll depend on the size of your paper, but maybe something like a CD size, something like that. Once you've got your circle, you need to bend it in half like that. Then you'll need a grown-up to help you because we need to put some slits in the top. I'm going to use my nail file because that seems to be the easiest thing to show you. But if you can see a slit that goes through both part, halves of the circle. And then get your other half of the piece of paper and I want you to concertina it. So keep bending the piece of paper, folding it and twisting it until you run out of paper and then you'll end up 
with like a fan. I hope you can all see that. Yeah. So I don't know if you've guessed yet what we're making. So we go back to our circle and then on each side, you need a black circle. And then you get your fan of paper. This is a bit tricky, so I'll have to put it down a second. Oh, here we go. And push it through our semicircle. And then you can fan out the paper. Oops, it's not very good. But I have got one I made earlier to show you in a minute. And then if you get a piece of the paper left over or another piece of yellow paper, just quite small, perhaps I shouldn't have worn yellow, but there you go, and make it a bit like a paper aeroplane, very small, and tuck that in at the front like that. You can all see that. So here's one that I finished earlier. So we've now got our dove. Now I'm sure when you saw the one in the picture of church, it had a tail. So maybe you could add a tail to it and maybe you could add a string to it so you can hang it up somewhere. But that's our dove to remind us of the baptism of Christ. And hopefully next week at the start, if you join our Sunday school next week, you can show us all your doves. So there we go. Oops, I was going to hold the other one up, but it's not quite finished. So there we have our doves. Thank you. So it's time now. So we finished our craft for, the, for this morning. So we'll now sing our Sunday school blessing. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Thank you. Thank you, Rowena. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Reverend Teresa, because she's had the really complex job of being behind the screen with all the screen sharing. But above all, thank you to um, all our lovely families who've joined us now live. It's really good having some families live with us because we can see you a little bit and get a bit of an idea of the reactions, which helps us in our presentation skills, which are getting better and better all the time. We spent an hour and a half in rehearsal yesterday. Um, so um, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get more confident at this. Who'd have thought it we'd be doing it this way? And also thank you to all those who are joining us later on YouTube and maybe some of you who've watched live if you want to refresh how to make the, um, the dove. So take care everyone, keep safe, keep well, don't fall over on any ice or snow and we look forward to seeing you next Sunday morning. <laughs>